Well, you've heard the union side on the firing of former BTC employee Elizabeth Thompson. Now BTC is responding. Union members and officials staged a protest last week and promised to take further action. But BTC is sticking to its guns and giving more of an explanation for its decision. Harjanea Noel Ferguson has details. Of course we believe it's the right decision for BTC, but you know I'm not going to comment on, on anyone else's opinions. I think everyone's got an opinion on this one. We'd prefer just to let the matter take its course through the through the proper channels to see to see what happens. For the past two weeks, the union that represents employees at the Bahamas Telecommunications Company have been up in arms over the dismissal of one of its employees. However, today BTC executives say this is a matter that they won't fight in the public, but said that meetings are ongoing with the department. Department of Labor. We are right now in the middle of a conciliatory process with the Ministry of Labor, mm -hmm. and we've held one meeting already on the on, on this particular issue regarding Elizabeth Thompson and we expect to have another meeting probably this week. In an earlier press release, BTC noted several reasons for releasing Thompson, who served as senior manager for four years. It's an internal problem which Houston says has been mounting for some time. But if the company had issue with Thompson in the past, why wait until now to fire her? Obviously it's an issue which dates back to 2010, in fact predates uh, um, CWC arriving on the scene. Um, it's, uh, I don't want to comment on why it, uh, it took the business so long to make that decision, but you know the decision's made and now uh, we're, we're kind of just working through that, that, that whole process. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't seem as if talks with the Department of Labor will change anything as her post, which remains vacant, may no longer exist within the company. We continue to restructure the business I, I can't, I, 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 and you know Ms. Felicity Johnson, our Senior Vice President for Legal and Regulatory, will continue to, to review what our business requirements are. And, you know, we're a business with, which is constantly in change. So I can't say specifically if we're going to replace that position. We may decide to do something differently. I don't know. Meanwhile, union officials who have garnered support from other unions have promised to fight this case until Elizabeth Thompson is reinstated. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.